Hey guys, Garen9 here, and welcome back to my channel today. So the daily mission for today, uh, Lost Light, was discovered to hold giant secrets. Um, these are really cool, and one will uh, help out everyone's time in the game, especially PvE. So the secrets I'm talking about are the Vienna Singer Ship and the Black Spindle Sniper Rifle, which is essentially the Black Hammer Year 2. The Vienna Singer is an absolutely sick ship, and um, the Black Spindle is an amazing sniper rifle that, like I said, is almost identical to the Black Hammer. All you have to do to obtain these things is completely wipe out what feels like the entire Taken race within 10 minutes. Um, no, really, you have to kill such a large amount of Taken that fitting all the slaughter into 10 minutes is super difficult. And you might be like, Scarrow, that's a lot of Taken. And I will respond with, yes, I know. And anyone that has tried this will agree with me. It is too many. Maybe not too many, because it is an exotic. It's, one, it's an awesome exotic. Um, but it's it's a lot. You have to be on your A-game for these. Um, so you start off the quest by starting off the daily mission. And I would like to point out that the mission does not have to be started when it is the daily mission. However, it does have to have the heroic modifier on it. So if uh, on the days it's not the daily mission, just go and set the uh, difficulty up to 240 light in order to be able to unlock this challenge. So you're going to make your way through most of the mission, and uh, you're going to pass the ogre that gets taken. Uh, you're going to do some running around. Um, you're going to go through rooms that require relics. Um, the big part is just do not die. If your whole fire team dies, then the secret will be locked, and you will not be able to do it, and you will have to restart the whole mission. Uh, individuals can die, but as long as the whole fire team does not wipe, you will be fine. And another tip I definitely recommend is uh, running this with at least two other people, or I guess not at least two other people, but uh, having a, having a three-person fire team definitely, definitely is almost necessary. Running it with two people is almost impossible. So definitely have three, uh, I'd say above 190 light levels. Uh, go through the mission, like I said, and finally um, you'll reach a room that needs one relic, unlock the door, then you'll need one, um, you reach a room that needs two to unlock the door, do that. And then finally you'll reach one that requires three, do not unlock the door. Um, so this area should seem very familiar to any uh, year one Destiny player and a bunch of year two Destiny players too. And is the first real room in the Temple of Crota. Uh, you go through this a bunch of different missions, a bunch of different times, and uh, you will actually have to go through the door that waits to Tannic's ship that will not be open if you wipe or if you're on a lower difficulty. However, if you are on 240 and you have not died yet, then you can go through this door. And then you will get a notification that's saying, like, um, uh, the, there's a fallen distraction or a symbol or signal that you need to go check out. So go do that, and they'll give you the quest to take out the Taken in 10 minutes. Like I said, this originally seems easy. However, this is nowhere near the case. I recommend using a Stormbreaker or a, or a Stormcaller, sorry, or a Sunbreaker to clear the first room in a conservative time. I'm a Night Stalker, so I was good at tethering enemies and creating orbs for, for my Stormcallers. And um, you're going to need as much time as you can get for the final room, so just the first uh, two rooms, just absolutely try to rush through. Um, the the only difficult thing in the first room is a couple of knights and a major centurion who has an arc shield. And next you'll move into a hallway where en uh, enemies will ambush you from the side. There is a captain and two vandals on each side. So um, since there is a captain, a solar weapon will uh, quickly dispatch them, so I recommend carrying one. I was using my solar sword absolutely dropped them, which was good before they caused too much damage. <clears throat> the next room is the first really challenging room. There are four major wi wizards that are absolutely a pain to take out. They have arc shields as well. Actually, no, they have void shields. And um, in addition, there are snipers located on the balconies of the area that can drop your guardian in two shots, so definitely be wary of those. And finally, you will make your way to the final boss, and this is where the real fun begins. So in the middle of the room, there's an ultra captain that only uh, not only has ultra amounts of health, uh, major amounts of health, but he also constantly shoots blinding balls so you make it hard to keep uh, sustained fire on him. So you'll be firing at him and he'll shoot four balls at you rapid fire, it's ridiculous. And to make it worse, ads are continuously spawning um, and trying to rush you from both sides. And I would definitely recommend having two people focus on the ultra and one focusing on quickly dispatching all of the ads. Do not get too excited when you finally kill the ultra, however, because it does take a lot of work to kill him, but that is not the end. You still need to kill all of the ads before time runs out. And this is where my fire team ran into the most trouble. Storm callers would again be useful to quickly clear up the ads. Um, and, uh, you know, just try to get through them as quickly as possible. Like I said, you need to conserve uh, the most time for the final room because it takes a good six or seven minutes. 
Um, my last piece of advice is just to run this again and again until you finally master it. Um, the rewards are definitely worth it, so definitely learn the spawn points and the different enemy types and their shields. And uh, so when you finally clear out all the taken, you're gar you are granted a guaranteed black spindle exotic sniper rifle. Like I said, it's exactly the same as the black hammer, except it's exotic instead of legendary. And it looks like a very good sniper rifle. I haven't used it much. Um, it's got a really high impact, and it drops at 310, so it'll boost your light level up no matter what. And if you are uh, interested in exotic review on this weapon, tell me in the comment section below. Uh, I'd love to do that, but only if you guys are really interested in it. And uh, you also have a chance to get a ship from this boss. It's called the Vienna Singer, and it looks absolutely amazing. I was lucky enough to get this. It has a small drop chance, but like I said, I did get it, and you will see some footage of that on screen. And as you can see in the gameplay on screen, it does not only have a cool design. It also has pulsing lights that make the ship that much more amazing to look at. Um, it's one of the first really interactive ships we have, and I really like that. And like I said, these rewards totally make the struggle of this ch challenge worth it. Um, I would like to thank everyone for watching today. If you enjoyed the video, a like would be highly appreciated. Uh, the likes help more people find my videos and lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content that I'm producing. And um, do you guys like these kind of challenges? I definitely do. Some people think they're too hard, though. They do uh, require a bunch of coordination and skill to complete. So tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. And finally, subscribe for more Destiny content, and I will see you guys in my next video.